Introducing ThoughtSpot Metrics Integration with DBT, the quickest way to move from data models to business insights. As more workloads move to cloud data platforms, DBT has become the standard for data transformation in the emerging modern data stack. It allows data teams to model and ship trusted data faster by applying best practices from software engineering, like version control, testing, and documentation. And ThoughtSpot is the leading modern analytics cloud, enabling downstream business teams to generate insights with the only self-service live analytics platform built for the modern data stack. Let's see how ThoughtSpot can turn DBT models into worksheets and live boards in just a few clicks. First, let's look at DBT Cloud. Here we can see a model we've built around a retail apparel data set. In this case, we're joining a fact table around sales and a dimension table around stores. And we're using these tables to ultimately define some enterprise reporting metrics around sales by region, by state, and by store. In DBT, a metric is a time series aggregation over a table with zero or more dimensions. Other popular examples include active users and monthly recurring revenue. If we look at the schema YAML file, we can see some additional metrics we've defined in this folder, such as sales by product type and dollars by product type, as well as the SQL used to create those metrics. Now let's see how ThoughtSpot can integrate with this model to turn it into worksheets for search and live boards for instant insights. Here we are in ThoughtSpot's data workspace, where we can create and manage connections to a variety of data stores, this is also where we connect to our DBT model. We've previously created a connection to our Snowflake data cloud, where the DBT models reside. So we simply go to our utilities and open our DBT integration wizard. From here, we enter a few credentials. In this case, we're using DBT Cloud, but if we were using DBT Core, we could just as easily upload a zip file here. And just like that, ThoughtSpot shows us three DBT folders available in Snowflake. Although this demo is leveraging Snowflake, we also support DBT for Databricks and other popular cloud data platforms. Let's select our retail apparel folder we were looking at earlier in DBT. Next, we can review the tables and deselect those we don't need. We can see the folder, the associated DBT tables, whether any metrics are defined in DBT, and the associated data warehouse tables. And in seconds, ThoughtSpot's modeling language converts our DBT folder to several worksheets and live boards. Let's check out our store sales live board. ThoughtSpot used the metrics we saw earlier in DBT around store sales to instantly build a live board with those three metrics. Just as if we'd created this live board in ThoughtSpot ourselves, everything is completely interactive. For example, we can follow the AI's recommendation about how to explore our data. Worksheets are in a metadata layer where we can add synonyms, specify aggregations, add formulas, and generally do anything necessary to get our data ready for search. Let's go ahead and search on this worksheet without making any changes. Let's ask, what is our quantity purchased by product type on a monthly basis? And ThoughtSpot immediately returns an answer based on our DBT model in Snowflake. ThoughtSpot makes it easy to drill anywhere in our database with ease and speed. Knowing that, let's drill into this peak in shirt sales by product name. Okay, with 115 different shirt products, this is a bit overwhelming. Let's narrow it down with the simple but powerful ThoughtSpot keyword, top. And now we can see that the SS Red House shirt was the leader this month. We can save this answer and share it with colleagues now, or pin it to one of our live boards, or begin creating a new live board. That's the simplicity and power of ThoughtSpot metrics integration with DBT. Go from trusted data models and metrics to business insights in minutes.